how could I not film a video for surging sparks? The potentially expen most expensive card of Scarlet and Violet might be in the set. There's a Pikachu worth like $350. Now I did see a video that a friend sent me and it's like a one in 1000 pack chance of getting this. Uh, but we're gonna try and let's see if the luck can come through for us. That being said, I always get absolute sure in these surging sparks. I mean, in these ETBs from the Pokemon Center company. So uh, I guess we're just gonna have to open it and see. But before I start opening, I need to remind you, we have a giveaway pile. It is hiding back here on the left. Every duplicate I pull goes to the giveaway pile. And then I give that away at some point, usually over the holiday time frames or like 4th of July in the US, something like that, just for yay, giving back. And as always, to enter the giveaways, you need to one, like this video, two, subscribe to my channel, and three, comment in the comment section below with anything you'd like. Even if it makes me happy, mad, sad, or glad, I appreciate the feedback. And before we open this, I also have finally found the perfect little mascot for the channel. It is Whooper. Um, I hardly know her. Yes, yes, that is a joke we do here. So let me just pop open the Whooper. I want you guys to all be able to see him in his, his finest form. Oh, I'm doing a horrible job of this though. They don't make this stuff easy. It's, you know, they don't want the children in five below opening it. So we also have a Voltex. I probably shouldn't bury that in here. Yeah, yep, listen to all that noise. I know it's nice. So here's our little Vulpix. You can see it looks like this one will actually stand or sit nicely. For now, Vulpix is going to hide back behind the box, and you will see it when we do the reveal of the cards. And the other one right here is the almighty Whooper. I hardly know her. We're going to call this Whooper Whopper. Whopper the Whooper. I hardly even knew her. And he can go back here near Totodile, who watches the giveaway pile. And now we can actually do what we were here for. If this video feels odd and uncomfortable, it's because it's been a little while. I'm also trying my hardest not to sniffle. I just did leaf cleanup outside and now somehow my allergies are acting up. I guess I'm allergic to leaves now too. <sighs> okay, so Surging Sparks, like I said, this set is a combination of a couple of Japanese sets and a couple of starter decks. So we get some of the EX starter decks that have cards in this. We have, um, Paradise Dragona, which is in, I'm gonna do a quick flip through because I don't really wanna spoil it, but you guys can get a quick preview of some things you can get. Um, Paradise Dragona, which is a dragon-based set with Latios Latias, things like that. And also the uh, Pikachu set in Japanese, which is not called Surging Sparks, it's called like Shocking Sips. I don't know, something like that. Uh, let's just get underway. I know I don't want to blab the whole time. I'm going to get rid of all the excess cardboard first. That usually keeps it in order. Why well, keep it in order when I can just make it a mess? Dice, don't really care much about those. The always useful but useless chips that I throw. We've got, oh, come on. I, I left a pack behind. I'm coming. Don't worry. Editor, remove that. Um, okay. We have... As you can see, Pikachus, Latioses, Archaludons, uh, Alolan Exeggutor, which I feel like is like the least remembered dragon type in the history of Pokemon. Um, that or uh, Drampa. I feel like no one remembers Drampa. We have the Energy Stack Cube, which is now like pretty-ish, I guess. Um, I keep those even though I don't really play the game. Although I do play TCG Pocket now. If anyone wants to add me, go look for... Uh, what's my name in that? Is it Vakanine TCG? I guess you need my friend code. Maybe I'll throw that on the screen at some point. Oh! Anyways, the next thing we're gonna take out of the box is the promo pack, which now it's all packaged as one. It looks like this. The Magneton, not an EX, just a standard Magneton illustration rare. Looks like it is the 159th promo from Scarlet and Violet. I actually really like this Magneton. The main reason I keep getting these ETBs is because I want to make sure I get both the promos too. Um, and you get the extra packs on mine as well. But this one does have the Pokemon Center stamp and then there's one underneath that does not have it. But yeah, Magneton, really cool card. And this is the kind of thing I'd love to just display out here because it is just so nice looking. So I'm gonna put Magneton back here next to Beldum. Um, and of course we have our card sleeves. Uh, I do collect these as well, even though I don't use those either, but I do have quite the basket of those building up over the course of the last few years. 
Um, and let's just get straight to opening because I really want to see if we can pull a Pikachu. I'd love one of the illustration rare Lotties. Um, yeah, let's just go for it. I'm going to mix them up a little so we don't have any weird pack consistency slash inconsistency kind of thing. And then I'm going to just get underway so we can make sure this video doesn't go on for 12 years. I actually got some other Surging Spark stuff. But it hasn't come in yet, unfortunately, so I couldn't add that to the end of this video. Um, here's your code, and then we always have an energy. That one is a darkness. And then we just flip it around, and we hope we don't get trash. And so far, we got a Yamask, Quaxley, Victini, Tortinator. Hold on, let me hold them correctly. Paldean Tauros, Eevee, Fuecoco, and... I ironically got a singular pack from GameStop yesterday that I opened, and I got this exact card. So that's not voting well. I'm going to put that in the giveaway pile. So one pack down, not looking fantastic, but that's okay. That just means we're gonna have a strong finish. Um, go to the next. We do this for your code. We reveal the fighting energy and I turn around and I'll hold them correctly so we can't get any spoilers. I hardly know where's. Feebas, Crocolore, Tandemouse, Spupa, the Pasho Berry, Azumarill, but in, oh, it's Psychic because they don't have the fairy types in the card game right now. Um, that's weird. Okay, a Psychic type Azumarill with a ability. If you have any Terra Pokemon in play, this Pokemon can use a double-edge attack for one. Oh, they should bring this to the card game, uh, to the TCG pocket. It also does damage to itself, but oh my god, a Psychic type Azumarill? Now I suddenly care all of a sudden about <laughs> what the Pokemon's abilities are, and I never used to care whatsoever. Annihilate. Ooh, Iron Bundle, Reverse Hollow Future. Applin. I feel like this artwork has been reused for some reason. I don't know. And we got the Skeletor's Hollow. Okay, that's technically a hit. And we move on to our Archaludon pack. Uh, oh, I also did film an opening for the prior set before this, which I... Was that Twilight? No, it was Stellar Crown. And I ended up not editing it and posting it because it was honestly such a trash box that I opened. I, uh, I actually can just show off, you know what, I'll, instead of showing you that right away, let me just show you, it did have this knock towel in the set, which I just said I like getting on the promos. Probably the worst of the um, promos I've seen so far that are going in this. I'm not really sure why they chose knock towel to be the, the card of the terrestrial whatever, but that's what the US Pokemon Company chose. So that one was number 141. Um, yeah, the rest of the cards I got in that opening were literally nothing to write home about. I didn't end up editing the video, and now I don't think I'm going to go back. I'm just going to continue with this Surging Sparks video. Um, sorry for all these side things. A Psychic Oricorio now. They're really loading up these random Psychics for this uh, this set. Bronzor, Morlol, Alolan Diglett. That, the only difference you can really tell in this picture is the hair sprouts. Um, Braviary looking like a dragon. Baberry Berry. I love a good old Baberry Berry. Um, Executive. That thing is not supposed to be that round, is it? I think it's supposed to be more of like a, a fat tree, not a pineapple. But we'll take it. We'll take it. Esper. I hardly know her. Reverse Hollow. Dino. I hardly know O. Reverse Hollow. And we got Eternatus. A dragon card. Super cool, but not what we're looking for. And wow, Power Creep, huh? World Ender. Discard a stadium in play. If you can't, this attack does nothing. Oh, I guess, yeah, but then you also have Dynablast. Wow, these cards are nuts. Um, now I'm realizing that TCG Pocket is going to end up becoming an absolutely just... It's going to be... You're going to win on the first turn in those little games. Your code. Oh, I'm so stuffy. I don't know what is happening to me. Trap Inch. I'm just getting old. Oh, yuck! What is he doing? That's Reller looking at his garbage can. Um, or his garbage ball or whatever it is. Celio, Clobopus, Appleton, Iron Bundle without any hollow. Oh, Lysia's Appeal. Can we get the alt R of this one? That's worth some mm -mm -mm right here. Lysia's Appeal, Paldean Tauros, Water. Oof. Oh, I thought I felt something good, but there wasn't. Dawn Fan Reverse Hollow. I do like the artwork. I hate the reverse hollows in English. I've always said that. And Terrapagos, not even in the Terrapagos set, and somehow has a little chip out of the top right there already i didn't do that i swear it wasn't me but uh yeah okay another hollow it's okay we're just building up to the grand finale that's what i'm gonna tell myself anyway continuing on we have done what three packs here is your code here is your energy 
We flip around and we have Larvesta, Mankey, Execute, Swablu, Counter Gain, Braviary, Clements, Quick Wit. That's a lot. That's a mouthful. Uh, Helioptile Reverse, <gasps> Sinister Reverse, and oh, this is why I don't like to open these. Terrapagos Hollow. Um, I'll even give you guys the one that is not chipped in the top right. So to the giveaway pile. Woo! Like this video. Woo! Yay! Woo! Continuing on. Turn it off. Um, I don't know when we can expect to get something good, but uh, here we go. At least you know I'm not getting set in loaded boxes like uh, Pokey Rev, that guy. He's like the bane of my existence now. It inspired me to make a channel and now I can't stand him. Don Fan, Fue Coco. Mantine, Bronzong, Gravity Mountain, that's exciting. A Holland Dug Trio with the luscious golden locks. Clemens Quick Wit again. Reverse Scatterbug. Reverse Grapple Locked. Oh my god, this is awful. The uh the Landorus Hollow, okay. And that's my pile of useless hollows. Wait, that's four hollows for me and two for you. We've done six packs. Oh my god. We only have five left. And we've quite literally got Jack Squat out of this box. Oh, I should have opened the other one. I always ordered two to keep one sealed. And now I'm like, I should have picked the other one. Maybe it's just all leading up to the grand Pikachu pull at the end. We will see um, Clef Key. We will see the Clef Key and the Fue Coco and the Espathra. Are we? This is literally the draft team of one of the people I, I mock with. This is crazy. Kilowattrel. Chill Teaser Toy. Dedene. Dragon Elixir, and hey, we finally got something, and it's probably the worst one. Slacking EX, born to slack. Instead of being born to ride, you're born to slack. And we're not talking about the IT slack thing where you communicate with people. It's not an IT thing. People are getting mad at me now. And we're not talking about that. We're talking about relaxing, sort of. Uh, if your opponent has no Pokemon EX or Pokemon V in play, this Pokemon can't attack. So it literally just comes in and whoops another EX card, and then... I mean, 340 HP. Power creep, am I right? Am I right? Um, but hey, we'll take a hit. We'll uh, flash prices on screen at some point during these openings, uh, assuming they're worth more than, I think I might cut off as two bucks. If they're not worth two bucks, I don't flash it up there. So if you ever think I missed looking up the price of a card, that's not true. I look up every single one and yeah, it has to be at least $2, I think, to go up there. Or $2.01, so I have to go over that. I have to round up to three for it to be worthy. Uh, anyway, Sandy Gast, Drillbur, Magnemite, Slack. That is inappropriate. Um, Paldean Tauros, Deduction Kit. We're going to deduct something or deduce something. Mm, English, yes. Altaria. I don't I don't write essays for a living, okay? Altaria. Clobopus reverse, and hey, we got an execute. Oh, they are gonna get stepped on. They are on a tennis court with a Pokeball and no net in the middle, um, and a basketball and a skateboard. What What kind of court is this? Oh my goodness. Kinda like the artwork, kinda confused by what it means, um, but here's your little 30 HP execute with precautious evolution. If you go first, you can use this attack during your first turn. Search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put it onto this Pokemon to evolve it, then shuffle your deck. So you can evolve first turn if you go first, otherwise useless. Okay, moving on. We could get a double banger, I hardly know her, and we do not get a double banger, but we do get a lovely gouging fire ancient form. I do like that a lot. Um, so there you go, no double bangers, but we do get our second hit of the night. Night, it's literally like 12 o'clock PM. Uh, not to timestamp myself, but uh, yeah, to the next pack. We will open a Latias. Yeah, Latios is blue, Latias is red. Uh, oh, wow, double banger on the pull on the back, if you know what I mean. Here you go. It means nothing to anybody. Don't don't worry about it. Glamora, Snorlax just screaming. So he was woken up from his nap. Primeape, where's my, did I get an Annihilate? Oh yeah, it was a fighting type one. Rufflet, Peldian Tauros. Latios, that I actually prefer Latios because it's blue and I like blue. Um, Surfer, I hardly know her. There's a Chien Pao in this set, Reverse Hollow. There is a Meddling Memo in this set, a Reverse Hollow. And there is a Zarud in this set that is a Standard Hollow. All right, so so far we have. I haven't hit the camera in a long time. I do apologize. We have two packs left. We want a Pikachu, but. Will it be in the Pikachu pack? I don't think it will be. So I'm actually gonna do the Archaloon on last. I'm gonna like reverse psych this set. 
Um, we need two hits in these two packs because otherwise our hit rate is less than 30%, which is really bad. Um, here you go with the code. Here you go with the fighting energy and Volcarona, Tojepi, Blitzel, Yamask, Iron Bundle, <laughs> Mousel. I kind of like that card. They're all just like, ah! Um, Surfer, I already know. Oh, that counts as a hit. That's so upsetting. Oh, these ace specs just taking up hit slots are so annoying to me. Put up to two supporter cards from your discard pile into your hand. Fantastic. But do I want to look at this? No, I want to look at a Pokemon. This is what we're here for. But that does count as a hit. So we'll get Miracle Headset. Um, again, I only flash things on the screen if they're over $2 in value. So that should show you how useful these ace specs are. Uh, but we're going for the double banger. And we... Wait, I messed up. But yeah, it doesn't matter. We got... This was the first reverse slot. Interesting. Okay, so three hits out of 10 packs so far. That's exactly 30%. Not loving it, but uh, I will be opening more of this stuff. So we'll have later chances. Rabska and Lysia's appeal. Uh, do we get a last second hit though? That is the question because I would love an actually cool card. Like you have to give me something. It doesn't even have to be like in secret illustration or just give me like a Terra helmet hat EX or something. Did I give you the... The energy? I didn't. Woo! I played with fire there. Uh, cast, sunny form. Sunny form, cast form. Mess spirit. I like the Lake Guardian so much more than other people. Um, maybe it's just a me thing. The Culberberry. Walrein. Armor Rouge. Caps a Kid Reverse. No Palkia Reverse. This is the last pack, pack magic, last pull magic. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, for the love of God. All right. Our last pack is going to be a Rab's Gut Hollow to duplicate what we just got in the prior pack. Uh, that goes to the always lovely giveaway pile. And I will pull a random card from my giveaway stash up here just to throw in there because I don't love what's happening right now. And it looks like the random card we pulled is a Japanese Kabutops from Scarlet and Violet 2A. That might be the Clay Burst or the Snow Hazard set, maybe. Um... But yeah, cool little Japanese card to add to the giveaway pile this week just because I felt bad. Um, that's all I got. I literally don't have any other packs to even tease you with. I'm just going to have to end it on that note. But uh, thanks for watching. I know it's not been consistent or anything, but I do appreciate it when people watch. Um, and I will try to open more Surging Sparks and maybe show you some actual cards from the set because that would be nice. Uh, and as always, clap your hands. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands, hands, hands. Clap your hands, everybody.